45th American Music Awards, I am Tracy Ellis Ross. How great were Kelly Clarkson and Pink? Let's give that another round of applause. I am thrilled to be hosting tonight, especially here on my home network of ABC. And it is truly, yes, ABC deserves some applause. It's truly a privilege and something that I will remember for the rest of my life, especially on such a special night where my mother, hi Pink, my mother, <laughs> the extraordinary and the incomparable Diana Ross is getting the Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, by the way, guys, we're making history. We are the first mother and daughter who have ever hosted the American Music Awards. I mean, she did it twice, but there's always next year. And my entire family is here. They are not here for me, but they are here. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Rhonda, Chutney, Ross, Evan. I could go on, but hi. Hi, Kelly. Okay, we are also celebrating Kelly Clarkson as she was the first winner of a little-known show called American Idol. It was 15 years ago, you guys. And, you know, I auditioned to be the host, but, oh, goodness, I didn't get the job. I didn't. They just, it was something about, I don't know, me being too dramatic. Like, pff, dramatic. A moment like this, some people wait a lot. Time for a moment like this. I don't know if those are the notes. Tonight, we will also recognize the 25th anniversary of a movie called The Bodyguard, starring Kevin Costner and the late, great Whitney Houston. You know, me and my boyfriend at the time, yeah, we must have reenacted that movie, I don't know, like 500 times. I was the bodyguard. Apparently, I look more like Kevin Costner. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I've been so fortunate to have done so much in my career, from girlfriends to, yeah, you can applaud for that. Joan Carroll Clayton. The Emmy nominated show Blackish. What? Right here on ABC, receiving a little Golden Globe, starting my clothing line for JCPenney, trade sales Ross for JCPenney. If you haven't gone, go, go, go. And now this having to join the ranks of other AMA hosts, and I have to be honest, you guys, it's a little bit intimidating. I mean, because I don't know that I possess all the same bells and whistles as them. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't have an album out. I don't have a cool stage name. I don't even, I don't even have beef with anyone. I tried to tweet Selena Gomez before the show, and I was like, hey, bitch, you're beautiful. And I meant it because she is so pretty and she's talented and I don't even have an entourage. <laughs> Everybody has an entourage. DJ Khaled, he came with 67 people. This entire section right here, this whole thing. Whole thing is his entourage, that's right. And hey, I'm sorry, <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> Keith Urban, are you, are you with, are you with DJ Khaled? That is so cool. DJ Khaled, where are you? Now can I get in that? I, okay, because I'll join your entourage. That's totally better. Nevertheless, everybody, this is going to be an incredible night tonight, filled with nostalgia, featuring earth-shattering, groundbreaking women, and there's going to be some men singing, too. I mean, <laughs> got to get them in there, you know what I mean? Whatever. <laughs> women who take up space, trailblaze, and blaze trails. Women with expansive and powerful voices and history-making careers filled with 30 years of hits, Mom. <laughs> this year in music has been a reflection of this year in our country, a year where brave women have started a movement as we own our experiences, our bodies, and our lives. You heard me? Now, here is one of those powerful women with the number one song, Sorry Not Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet for Demi Lovato.